Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about the concept of process assessment in the subject of software engineering. First of all, before watching this video, I suggest you to watch the vi previous video which is about process patterns and then come to this video so that you can understand it more easily. Okay, so let's get into the video and uh, before that, I have also started a new channel with study abroad content. If you are interested, have a look. I'll give the link of the channel in the description. So let's get started. So basically, you know what process patterns are, right? So when you apply those process patterns to a software project, you will be getting a software, right? So when you combine the process patterns and the software project, you are getting a software. But we don't know whether this software which we are getting will satisfy all the requirements or not. Okay, we don't know whether all the requirements which are asked by the customer are being satisfied or not. We don't know in that. So that is the reason why in order to achieve, in order to fulfill all the requirements, you need to combine the patterns with the real time practices. Okay, very simple. You are combining software patterns and the software project in order to get the software. But the software, whichever you got, may or may not fulfill all the requirements. In order to solve this problem of requirement fulfillment, we are using the real time practices combined with the software patterns. Got it? So you will be getting a good reliable software which which will fulfill all the requirements okay and this entire process should be continuously assessed that is you have to continuously monitor it you have to continuously uh, you know assess assess in the sense you have to you know figure out how it is going on whether everything is going perfectly or not if there are any mistakes if it is going according to the plan or not what about the efficiency all all the factors will be assessed and this process is called as the process assessment got it so the, the process assessment is nothing but first in order to understand process assessment that is why i said you have to understand the process patterns got it so this is about the process assessment and i'll explain you with diagram also it will be more clear so for you then. This is the diagram which is associated with the process assessment. Okay. First, the software process is assessed with the help of the technique called as a software process assessment. Okay. From software process assessment, you will be getting two things. Okay. It leads to two things. One is process improvement and the other is a capability determination okay and this software process improvement is nothing but it will identify the modifications that are to be done to the software process okay it will identify the modifications that are done to, that are to be done to the software process and this capability determination will identify the capabilities and the risks associated with this software process got it so when you are assessing a software process with the help of software process assessment you get two things one is software process improvement and the other is capability determination the software process improvement will give you uh, the uh, you know what are the modifications that are to be done and the capability determination will identify the capabilities and risks associated with the software process got it so when you are doing the process assessment you will have some steps you'll have some techniques sorry okay so what are those techniques we actually uh, have three techniques okay so in those three techniques the first one is the standard CMMI assessment method for process improvement S C A M P I in short it is called as CAMPI standard CMMI assessment method for process improvement so in this we have several steps we have like five steps we have initiating diagnosing establishing acting learning you can understand it by looking at the words itself initiating is nothing but you're starting something diagnosing is nothing but you're testing something establishing you are g getting a plan or you're starting it you're acting that is you're implementing it next learning out of that you're learning what you have done any mistakes if not if it is going correctly then okay all the others have to be done in this way you'll be learning it okay so next comes the CMMI based appraisal for internal process improvement CMMI based appraisal CBA 
for IPI that is internal process improvement got it so this is the second one so basically simple here you are using the CMMI model in order to do the assessment of the software okay so and the third one is so I suggest you these techniques are not actually so important uh, it is enough if you understand what is process assessment and the flowchart like uh, this this diagram kind of thing uh, and you explain that diagram and the process assessment in your own words it will be enough for 4 mark answer or 5 marks answer but you're getting it for 10 marks then you have to you know elaborate it more for sure next comes the third one which is ISO 9001 to 200 so 2000 so I guess you people are already aware of this so here we will be using the PDCA cycle plan do check act okay so plan do check act is nothing but in plan stage you will be planning okay in do stage you will be implementing in check state you will be monitoring and along with monitoring assessment also will be done okay act is nothing but here you are doing the monitoring as a and assessment right so after you complete your monitoring and assessment you will be getting some changes which are to be done to the software in order to improve it right so after improve after you do after you you know what do you say uh, after you improve after you make the changes you will be re-implementing the software right that is what act means re-implementation of the software got it so plan to check act it is a cycle actually what happens is p d c sorry c a so it is a cycle or uh, these four steps will be continuously happening in a uh, cycle until and unless you obtain a high quality software got it this is what happens in iso 9001 uh, to 200 2000 stand, uh, technique got it so this is about this video process assessment i hope you guys are clear so this is all about this video and in this video in the complete video the most and most important part is the diagram okay it is very important that you remember that diagram and draw it okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if still you're having any doubts just let me know in the comment section let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel if you're still having any doubts